How's it going there folks? I'm Quinn, that's Nazzy iPhone Guy, and this is the video review of the Able Planet NC200B active noise cancelling headphones, which will retail you for $99.99, but can be had for about $75 bucks on Amazon and in the link below. Now, the active noise cancelling market is a very diluted one. Bose pretty much has the name when it comes to active noise cancelling and me personally as an audiophile am not a fan of active noise cancelling as all uh, at all as it often kind of dilutes the track and uh, creates a very artificial bright soundstage and tone that just isn't that pleasurable to listen to. Um, so I've never been a big fan of active noise cancelling in Bose and some of these other companies. And so I was a little bit skeptical with these headphones, especially since they were under $100 because most active noise cancelling headphones are above at least $150. So when Able Planet sent them out for review, I was highly skeptical and was rather pleased by the sound that they produced for $100. But that being said, there are a lot better headphones for a lot less that don't offer active noise canceling and uh, those may be worth you know a peek now the headphones themselves are very nice they're built out of soft touch plastic uh, which feels great in the hand they have leather pads which are very very nice they give you the ability to fold up which is great um, these cups oscillate uh, 90 degrees and then you, there's this little joint up here that you have to snap and then uh, you fold this over here and you're good to go. There's a ton of complaints on Amazon about this hinge being very finicky and breaking easily. I haven't experienced any durability issues, but I can see this being a problem, which would not be so good. So uh, that's something to note. If you're gonna be constantly unfolding and folding these, these may not be the best headphones because they are a little bit fragile up here. Other than that though, these are the headphones. They do work pretty well. And like I stated, they are active noise canceling. So you can place your one AAA battery uh, down in that there compartment. Now, once you've done that and you've uh, folded the headphones back to their original state, uh, you can start listening. Now, it comes with a four foot cable uh, that I'm not a big fan of. The cable doesn't tangle easily, but it has a lot of rubbing sound, especially when the active noise canceling is turned on. Rub noise is incredibly annoying. It, if you don't know what it is, it's basically when you're running or even moving uh, and the cable rubs against your shirt, you will get a lot of cable noise, uh, which is just not pleasurable uh, when you're listening to music. Additionally, it has this uh, little guy right here, which allows you to change the volume. A lot of people prefer this. I personally am not fond of it, but I can see it being useful under certain circumstances. I really do like the fact that the cable is removable, which allows you to use other cables if you have them, uh, which I have been doing. But uh, the cable just plugs in down there, and it's nice because if your cable breaks or you want a better cable, uh, you can plug and play, and everything should be nice and good. Now, one of the reasons these headphones are kind of unusual is for two reasons. First of all, they integrate Lynx Audio. Now what Lynx Audio does or what it advertises doing is giving you the full or rich or unleaded sound without requiring you to turn the volume all the way up. On a lot of headphones, you have to crank the volume quite a bit to get all of the different parts and instruments to come through and penetrate the track. Lynx Audio aims to not do that, to save hearing and uh, a couple other things. And I did like it because it did create a pretty nice full sound at very, very minimal volumes. But it's probably a marketing scheme more than anything else. Additionally, these can run without the active noise canceling, which is nice because if, you know, for example, the battery dies while you're listening to audio on an airplane or something like that, it's not the end of the world. The headphones will still operate. However, it's very, very, very unpleasant to listen to these when the active noise canceling is turned off. It's totally bass heavy. Uh, it's The bass is not even nice it's very very muddy and slow and additionally the mids and the trebles are incredibly recessed and oftentimes you can't even hear the trebles it sounds like you're in a fish tank um, or in a swimming pool when you go down the swimming pool and you can hear all of the low frequencies but you can't hear anything treble it sounds like a swimming pool when the active noise canceling is off now to turn it on all you need to do is flip the switch and you'll get this led indicator it does run uh, for, I believe, up to 80 hours on a single battery. I have been using these for weeks and haven't noticed any battery issues whatsoever. However, the sound still isn't that good. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not a horrible sound. It is very, very bass heavy, which is probably not the bass heavy you like or you're used to because the bass is slow and it's a little bit muddy. And this makes it 
quite unpleasurable to listen to because it's not fast and pounding and boom, 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 boom. It's a lot kind of boom, 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 if that makes sense. It's just not harmonious with the true to the track bass. Additionally, the mids and the trebles are very well kept out of the limelight, which I don't like. Uh, there's a lot of recession. There's a lot of kind of exterior noise and I don't like it. There's no soundstage at all, which is pretty much never present in active noise canceling, so I can't blame these headphones specifically, but there is indeed no soundstage. And really, it's not that these headphones are bad, it's just that there's a lot of better headphones for a lot less money. Granted, they don't offer active noise canceling, which I'd also like to kind of criticize these headphones about. Unlike some of the Bose and some of the other active noise canceling headphones, not the Beats. The Beats are the same as this, but the active noise canceling headphones, like the Bose Quiet Comfort series, you put those on, you turn the on button, and boom, pretty much all exterior noise is isolated. These are not the case. You turn this on and you put them on your ears and you can still hear everything except for maybe uh, ground noise, which gets canceled out, like the air conditioning. And so you still can hear like everything, even like little rapper sounds that are several feet away from you. So you're like, well, do they really noise cancel? They do, but they do have to pressurize to your ears, which takes about 30 minutes. In about 30 minutes, they do get really good at canceling noise out, but you can't adjust the cups, you can't move them, you can't do anything of the sort or else it will unpressurize and you'll have to start all over. So a lot of people also get irritated or get headaches from pressurization in headphones. I personally don't. If you've used active noise canceling headphones, pretty much all of them do that. These are just a little bit more uh, pressurized than some of the others. For me, it provided no problem whatsoever. I could listen to hours on end, but a lot of people will experience issues with that. Now, once they're pressurized, again, noise really is canceled out. I mean, like you can't hear a whole lot, which is great because if you're on an airplane or if you're in a noisy environment, the subway, it's great, but you do have to keep in mind it takes 30 minutes to get to that point, which for many people is the average duration they listen to music, if not less. So these are not the kind of pop it on your ears, listen, and then pull them off when you're done you know, on the subway. These are for longer commutes or longer duration times, which is something of note. Other than that though, these headphones aren't bad. I don't wanna bash them and make them sound like they're horrible. They're just not as good as a lot of other headphones that are a lot less money. From Audio-Technica, Sennheiser, AKG, there's a lot of better options that granted do not have this active noise canceling, but do very well pressurize your ears passively and may be a better option for less money. So I'm gonna give the Able Planet Lynx Audio NC200B headphones a five out of 10, chiefly because there are better options for a whole lot less. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.